Hey everyone, I'm Chris Sheeran and welcome to This Week in Nets Basketball, or TWIN as we like to call it, in honor of Jason Collins, of course, for the week of January 11th. The week started once again without Kyrie Irving in a uniform, but Kevin Durant was back in action for Brooklyn. That was good news as they donned their retro unis. For the third time this season, they gave up 70 first half points to the Denver Nuggets and trailed by 16 at the half. But Durant and Joe Harris helped the Nets erase that deficit in the third. They combined for 23 of the Nets' 36 points to draw the game even. In the fourth, it was Bruce Brown and Durant leading the charge to a 122-116 win. Afterwards, Durant took the spotlight off of his own 34-point performance and directed it at his tag team partner from the fourth, Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown was incredible tonight, man. Jeez. Floaters with timely. You know, planning the pick and roll, picking up full court. You know, I'm just so proud of that dude, man. He he's a true pro. He hasn't played at all, and coming to start lineup and make an impact. You know, guys like you know Tori and Carius. You know, the whole bench came in and gave us some great minutes, man. We're gonna need that going forward. On Wednesday, the Nets made a blockbuster trade ahead of their first meeting with the New York Knicks this season, parting ways with Karis LeVert, Jarrett Allen, Tori and Prince, Rodion Karuks and eight picks for the services of James Harden. Brooklyn only had nine players dressed at Madison Square Garden and were still without Kyrie Irving, but they built a 16-point lead thanks to outscoring the Knicks 35-20 in the second quarter and never looked back. Our Michael Grady talked about the focus in the win with everything that transpired early in the day with DeAndre Jordan. We were just trying to focus in on getting the win, uh, coming out and competing, um, extending this, you know, the way that we're playing and, uh, you know, getting everybody involved and incorporated. But, um, you know, it was good to come out here today and compete um, and get a win. On Friday, James Harden met the media as a net for the first time, and the beard was asked about fitting together and meshing with all the talent already in Brooklyn. When you have elite talent and you're worried about fit, I feel like that's a, that's a very good problem to have. Um, you know, so we'll figure that through throughout the course of the year. Um, and I think for all of us, from top to bottom, I think the ultimate goal is to win games. Well, the first time Harden had a chance to win a game as a member of the Nets was Saturday night against the Magic in Barkley Center, and he didn't disappoint. He went back in time with his former tag team partner, that would be Kevin Durant, of course, and they put on a show. Harden registered a triple-double, though, scoring 32 points, dished out 14 assists, and ripped 12 boards. And after the 122-115 win, the Nets third in a row, by the way, our Michael Grady got Harden on the floor and asked him how it felt to get this one under his belt. Uh, it felt really good. Um, the guys got after it. I mean, you know, individually, I got to stop turning the basketball over, but that comes with chemistry, that comes with practice, that comes with, comes with watching film. So uh, first game, I'm glad to get a win, and uh, we just got to keep going. You've only been here a little over 48 hours. What was it like <laughs> building chemistry on the fly? I mean, when, you, when you're playing with really, really good players, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. For me, you just got to... Uh, learn reads, learn where guys like the ball. Um, just learn our personnel, you know, individually. So once I get that, you know, the turnovers are cut down and I'll be more efficient. We look forward to next week when the Nets host the Bucks before hitting the road for two in Cleveland with the Cavaliers and Jared Allen and Torian Prince sporting those Cav uniforms before heading home to wrap up a four-game work week at home against the defending Eastern Conference champion Heat.